go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through uh, Act 9.1.5. So that's the fifth quest of Act 9.1, and it's called Free for All. Now, the path that I am going to choose is one that I consider very, very easy. It's also very flexible. And if you do what I'm going to suggest, you're gonna have a much easier time. So you can look at the node buffs here and the one that you really need to be concerned about is the dish trap, okay? So you can see that the science champions, science class, is the one that gets, you know, some extra help. And distract means that if you don't have three debuffs on your opponent, you're going to have a very bad day, okay? You, you don't want to try to do that. So you want to bring in, uh, ideally, science champions that do a lot of debuffs. You don't have to. You can bring in someone else that does a lot of debuffs. I'm sure Nick Fury would work, but if you are able to, why wouldn't you make use of the advantage science has uh, in this quest? Now, you'll notice that I'm boosting up. I recommend boosting if you don't want longer fights. I hate long fights, so that's what I have done. Now, I want you to look at my team. You will notice that some of them don't necessarily put on tons and tons of debuffs. They do. But look at um, She-Hulk and look at Mr. Fantastic. Those two have a synergy that allows every single science champion on your team to have a max of three power stings. You know, I believe it's um, when you block or, or what have you. That's passive in addition to whatever other uh, debuffs they put on. So you can use any science champion, whether they do debuffs or not, if you have Mr. Fantastic and She-Hulk on your team. So that's my big uh, tip if you want to use science, which I do recommend. So if you have some science champion that, you know, um, doesn't do a lot of debuffs, but you happen to want to use them because you like them, make sure you have Mr. Fantastic and um, She-Hulk on your team. Now, when the power stings fire off, when they fire a special, you're going to have to build those back up again if you bring in someone that doesn't do debuff. So I recommend both. All right, so you can see here, I brought in Hulk. I brought in, of course, uh, Spider-Ham. And I brought in Scorpion. Those champions, and I believe even Hulk, put debuffs on their opponent. Scorpion and uh, Spider-Ham are my top two recommendations for this uh path they're gonna do it regardless and if you then put mr fantastic and she hulk it's even better all right so look at how scorpion is handling this he puts on a lot of debuffs and those debuffs act as power stings and they're separate from the passive power stings that you get from that synergy so um, and I think it's it's every debuff. Um, let me take a look real quick here. Um, I believe it's every debuff. Uh, so like when you parry, 
you can um, you get that stun debuff, and that'll give you one. But if you do other debuffs, you're fine. Uh, let me see. Special synergies. Uh, She-Hulk. Um, there we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Shared Knowledge is the name of it. Robotics. Um, it is She-Hulk. It is um, uh, Doc Ock. It is uh, Vulture. All of them have that uh, synergy and sentry. And what it does, tech. I didn't re uh, remember this, but tech and science. Uh, any debuff that they put on also puts on that power sting. Okay? So it's, it's not just science. It's also tech. I always bring science especially on something like this because science has the advantage but um it's a synergy that you can also use for your tech champions that have you know place lots of debuffs so anytime uh scorpion puts a debuff he's gonna put uh, another power stain so whether it's a parry and it does the stun debuff or whether it's just straight debuffs just look at this so i recommend that um wholeheartedly it makes a lot of these fights just so much easier just look at this look at that just look at that health just going down quick it is fast um scorpion by the way as you can see he doesn't he's not available as a seven star so i have bringing in my six star six stars work just fine um, I can tell you some other options in case you don't have them. Let me, uh, open this up and go through some of the, uh, science champions that, uh, I would recommend, uh, if you do not have these guys, um, I would say Titania would work. Sandman would work. Um, I believe Spider-Man 2099 would work. Quicksilver would work. Um, Joe Fixit would work. Um, a lot of champions will work, especially with that synergy, but these are ones that I think um, will work really well. Luke Cage. You get a lot of people that throw shade on Luke Cage. Luke Cage would work very well. I want a Luke Cage as a seven star. Okay. Um, I believe even She-Hulk will work. Abomination, Immortal Abomination would work. You know, basically any science that puts a lot of debuffs will work. And any non-science that plays debuffs will work. It's just that science gets the advantage here. That's all. So Nick Fury, he could work. You know, he, he's going to put on um, debuffs. Um, Hyperion, he can put on uh, the Incinerate debuffs. Uh, same thing with Gladiator. Black Widow, if you do a heavy attack, she's going to put on three debuffs. They're not going to last very long, and you're probably going to have a really rough time, but she could work. I just wouldn't recommend you use her. Um... I think Iceman could work. Wouldn't recommend. Uh, Shiri might work. And since she's tech, she would work with the synergy of Mr. Fantastic and um, uh, She-Hulk. Onslaught. You know, uh, Hitmonkey for sure will work. You know, so there's a lot of champs that will work. Um, Ultron will work. You just need to make sure you have, you know, those debuffs. That's it. Um, trying to think who else. Lady Deathstrike. She will also have the power sting um, with that synergy. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider would work. But like I said, I recommend... Um, ooh, 
El Diablo, he would also work. Um, but I like to bring in the class that gets the advantage just so that I'm doing as much as I can. But if you don't have those champions that are ideal, you can bring in someone else just to get this done. Boost up and get her done. Now, um, this guy right here, Wong. Oh, uh, man, he's annoying. Uh, you want to knock him down when his Eldritch power gets uh, to 90. You just want to knock him down to get rid of it. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad day. Okay, that's the last icon up there to the right. Okay, right now it's at 61, 65, that one. All right, and it warns you when it's going uh, to go, you know, up there. All right, you don't want him to get to 100 if you can. All right, so like right here, I really need to knock him down. Bam. Okay. Um, let's see, what else he going to do? See, I, I don't like fighting him. I really, really don't. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, see, the energy is unleashed. And I thought I knocked him down, but it looked like it just put it on cooldown or something like that. I don't know. But... It got rid of the energy, and so we're back. And I've been using Scorpion because I love Scorpion, especially for a path like this. Dish track path, beautiful, okay? He just puts on so many debuffs. And we're done, you know, just like that. He was able to do, <laughs> he was able to do um, really this entire path. Now, Dr. Doom, I think Dr. Doom is the last one on the path. And I'm sitting here because I'm going, should I bring back Scorpion? Eh, let's give Hulk a little bit of fun, right? So you see how I parried and one um, power sting just came up? See, parry, two, parry. Now I got three and now I can actually do something, but he just fired off a special. Now I don't have the debuffs. This is the problem if you go in with someone that does not put a lot of debuffs on the champion easily. <clears throat> easily. Now he has the physical um, vulnerability debuffs that he can put on. And I don't know if those count. See, physical vulnerability, but I'm still not doing any damage. And the power stays not doing any damage. So I'm like, what's going on? See the, the, there we go. Now we're doing it. Now we got the um, physical vulnerabilities because that's what I remembered about Hulk. Okay. And so here I want to fire off my special three. Didn't seem to do any damage. I probably waited too long. All right. And then here we go. Physical vulnerability. And we need to keep getting those on him. And you see how much more difficult this is compared to Scorpion, who basically was able to just tear through it. So this is what it will look like if you go in, and he's unblockable here. I was like, no! Yeah, Hulk is getting angry. So was I. Just look at this. This was ridiculous. Okay? So... I don't recommend going in here with someone who doesn't naturally, and I just did that because I knew I was going to go down anyway, um, that doesn't do um, debuffs naturally. I was remembering his physical vulnerability, but it seems like that wasn't working. And even though I had, so it must not be passives that count. I don't know. Okay. So I would recommend the synergy and going in with someone who definitely puts debuffs, like um, active debuffs, like um, Scorpion and Spider-Ham. All right, so you got a chance to see what it would look like um, with someone who is not doing the uh, a, a lot of debuffs. Um, but whatever you do, you want to put uh, debuffs on them. And apparently you want to put active debuffs. So the synergy 
is extra damage, I guess. I'm, I'm really not clear on that because I remember doing this and those counting for a uh, diss track, but it didn't look like they were counting in this particular instance. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so in any case, we got him down. Now we're gonna fight the boss. And the boss that I chose to fight was Sandman. And I heard, due to the nodes, and I looked at the nodes, that when a skill champion fails to apply a debuff that he is immune to, they get precision. So a lot of people were saying Black Cat. I don't use Black Cat uh, that often, even though she's really good. One of the reasons is I tend to run Recoil, Double Edge, Liquid Courage, um, and not all matchups are favorable to that, and not all champions are favorable to that. So she's one of those that's not. But if you look there, see the Double Down uh, especially. So I'm going to be getting three shocks whenever the champion activates a special. Okay? You may want to bring someone else in. But you're going to see how this worked out for me anyway. And the double down is the one that caused me to bring Black Cat because she does a lot of bleeds. And so while she does a lot of bleeds, she'll get a lot of precisions and do a lot of damage. Okay? Um, and you'll notice here they gain debuff immunity. So that is what you want, actually, and why you want to bring in, ideally, a skill champion that does debuffs that he's immune to. Um, it'll, it'll help. It'll help. All right, so let's watch and see how this worked out. All right, so you see here, look at the precisions that I'm getting. Every time you see that immunity up, look at this. Look at this. Nine already. Okay? And I'm sitting here watching both. Now, here's a problem. You'll notice that he did not hit me right there, but he still put a Petrify on me as soon as he fired his special. Why that hurts is because I'm running the um, Liquid Courage, Double Edge, and I have Willpower on. And so every time I heal, that Petrify is reducing it, first of all, so I'm taking more damage and if he puts too many on, just look at my health. You know, my health is getting eaten up. Now, he hit me that time. But my health was getting drained quick. Okay? But, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of the um, precisions up anyway. But I'm losing a lot of health. A lot of health. And then when I did this, I was like, oh my goodness. Really? You know? I was like, either I hesitated or he recovered really fast i don't know okay i honestly don't know on that one and so i'm just like all right whatever let's just keep going until the end right and so i'm going in i'm i'm hitting him up good okay baiting that out and just look at my health every time he fires off his special whether he hits me or not okay all right and then here we go now that time, he didn't. Look at the crits. I watched someone do this with Black Cat, and those crits were insane. Okay? Um, I don't play Black Cat, so I'm not playing her as well as I could. But keep in mind that you want to apply as many debuffs that he's immune to so you can do a lot of damage. Okay? And so, look at this. We are actually got him down to less than 50%. And I'm getting a little bit used to the fight as well. And now, see, look at this. Look at my health. So I already know what's going to happen here. And then that happens. And I'm going to tell you, right now, I got upset and I quit. I shouldn't have. I should have let the final screen show so you could see how much damage I was taking from sources other than getting hit. But... I knew that my recoil was going to take me out, so I just wanted one last blow, and apparently he recovered quickly. And I was doing it into his block again like happened before. 
I was like, never mind. I'm 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 through. All right. So here we go with um. We've got a uh, scorpion. Now here's the thing. I went uh, rupture. He's not immune, if I remember correctly, to rupture, right? But he still has the debuff immunity that he will sometimes get for like four seconds, I think it said. But that's fine, because whether we do it that way or not, he's still going to be losing health. Okay? He's still going to lose health every time, because I noticed in the last fight, he was happy with his specials. So I said, all right, fire your specials off a lot. Because one of the nodes said he was going to be more aggressive, right? You remember that. So this works out great for me. Having him more aggressive, beautiful. Look at this. Just ch cheer him up. Cheer him up. So while I may not have gotten a, a solo, this was my first time going up against him. If I had to do it again, I'm not sure who I would bring in. Uh, they worked. Okay. But I definitely would... Uh, recommend a skill champion that does a lot of debuffs that he's immune to. All right. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video, whether it helped you uh, get through uh, your 9.1.5. All right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight, he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown